Doctors. Again? Fancy him, do you? He's at least twice my age. Can't be. Sure they have to retire at 90. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could do with getting yourself a season ticket for that place. You're there every week. What's up this time? I'm run down, he says. Oh, look at me here. You know, in the evening when you make the supper and you always let the milk boil over and the pan's an horrible mess. Well, my skin's like that. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about a Pamela. No one notices. They never get that close because of your halitosis. Oh, have I? <laughs> no. Hey, but it's a thought. I might help her get shot of old Sydney. Run down. All that training, that's all he can come up with. Yeah, but we know the real reason, don't we? Do we? Snidey Sydney, the fraud from ferret. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never used to be a member of Waiting Rooms Anonymous. It's only since Cluffy started getting on to you. If you pardon the expression. So you agree then? What? That it's work that's making me ill. Oh, well, sort of. I you're mean, quite it's... right. I'll just have to pack it in. Hang on, Pamela. I no, didn't you're say... right, Brenda. All my problems come from being stuck all day with that whinging rat bag. Hang about, Pamela. I've told you, it's not that easy to find another rat bag. I mean, job. <laughs> Look, you don't have to leave. Just warn him that if he doesn't lay off. You'll be forced to let Mrs Clough know that her husband's idea of overtime begins with his left leg. <laughs> it never went that far. Oh, I believe you, sis. But his intentions were 100% that way. No, I've just got to get away from that place. Hey, well, why not just take a holiday for now? Well, I could do, I suppose. I've still got ten days left of this year's. Well, there you are, then. Go abroad for a week. Could try Lourdes. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, mm -hmm. does your driving licence have a little plastic cover? Yes, why? Well, there's a job here for a van driver, but your licence must be clean. <laughs> Mother, it means no endorsements. Then why don't they say so? And have you? Have I what? Been endorsed. No, look, there'll be hundreds of people that are applying for a job like that. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Here's one. Clean kitchen and fridge is essential. Well, that's no problem. To do what? Peel shrimps at home. <laughs> Mother, wearings haven't closed yet, and when they do, I'll be in line for a transfer to mod shops. Who says? Terry. Him? Oh, I'd be very dubious. Didn't you say he's from Hemel Hempstead? Yeah. <laughs> Enough said. You forget, Malcolm, you've no qualifications. What, as a shrimp peeler? As anything. <laughs> I just think of all those little books of revision aids I bought you. That was 15 years ago. I know, we never looked at them. I told you at the time they weren't relevant. We weren't even doing Troilus and Cressida. <laughs> Neither of them. No. <laughs> and what's more, you can't get an O-level in origami. Well, your father was very good at French. <laughs> Yet, ah, here we are. Tele salesperson's required. Outgoing personality and ability to communicate in the Whitney's area. <laughs> That's asking a lot. Yeah, there's a telephone. <laughs> <clears throat> there's a telephone number. Oh yes, you're right. It is a telephone number. <laughs> well, oh, mother, there's no point. I mean, oh, hang on. This one looks quite good. Kissagram staff required. <laughs> It will be considered an advantage for applicants to have A, their own fishnet stockings and suspender belt, and B, the ability to handle a medium-sized python. Hmm? 
Malcolm, you don't seem to realise the serious position you're in. I mean, just what are you good for? Watching birds and tinkering with ancient motorcycles. Could you possibly think of a more useless combination? Let's see. Yeah, a 150cc Coventry Eagle and a Gerard sidecar. That's a pretty useless combination. <laughs> One pound eighteen, please, sir. Yeah. Thank you, madam. <laughs> I'll tell you what we haven't played for a while. People watching. People watching. And do you know what we've never done? Harold. I'll tell you, we've never done Harold. That's true. <laughs> so what do you reckon, then? Ex-army. Regular or salvation? Both. <laughs> He was the first soldier in the Formby Fusiliers to have his <laughs> rifle fitted with braille sights. Formby Fusiliers? Thanks to Harold, he were disbanded. Shortage of personnel. He shot everybody. Right. <laughs> so, filled with remorse, he joins the Salvation Army. Ah, I like it. How'd he get here, then? Ah, well, one day he was playing his euphonium on oh, Lime Street better when... still, one day he's selling the war cry and the grapes and... Oh, yeah, of course. He couldn't, couldn't find, find his, his way, way out. out. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to admit it, Malk, but you're becoming almost as good a people watcher as I am a bird watcher. Almost. Cos you've got a much better teacher than me. Don't push it, Stoneware. You'll have one more broken nose than me as well. Lager and stout, please. <laughs> so how's things on the job front? I don't know what to think. Terry's convinced we'll get a transfer to mod shops. But my mother just sits scouring the jobs column in the paper. Well, surely Terry should know. Mind he is from Emma Lampstead. Exactly. <laughs> hey, my problem is I've got nothing to offer. No training, no qualifications. Well, you're good with your bike. If the worst comes to the worst, you can always get a job in a garage. No, I couldn't. I hate garages. I hate them. They don't care what they do to machines. Easy, easy. I did use one once years ago. I had this lovely Enfield. Needed a rebore, came back in a terrible mess. Chip cooling fins, misplaced washers, nuts rounded and missing. Sounds painful. I swore then I'd never use one again. Well, what's your answer then? Set up your own bike repair place and do the job properly. You've got all the gear. Hey, I could, couldn't I? <laughs> sure. One day. One day? What's wrong with tomorrow? Well, it needs a lot of thought. Oh, yeah. At least two years' worth. <clears throat> Oh, come on, get me home. Misery guts will be in bed. And Harold's trying to save our helmets. 28 <laughs> feet, please. <that. laughs> Family's still having problems, is she? Oh, yeah. Depressed about her work, her future, her appearance. It's like living with the elephant man. <laughs> Miss Merrick's asleep. This must be hers, then. Yeah. For weekdays, she wears a Sainsbury's on Sunday. <laughs> oh, we've been horrible, aren't we? You're being horrible. I'm being normal. I have to live with her, remember, and a right pain she is. If she wasn't my sister, I wouldn't be so tolerant. I'd take me Woolies vegetarian cookbook and go and sponge off somebody else. <laughs> Anyone in mind? Maybe. <coughs> Suppose I could take her out. You've got a nerve telling me you want to take my sister out. I think I preferred you when you were all wet and wimpy. I don't just mean me, I mean we, both of us. Oh, yeah? And play Guess Who's a Gooseberry? No, you'd win every time. <laughs> <laughs> what about a foursome? Well, I know she's a big girl, but she's still only counts as well. <laughs> got it? Jumpers? Is it catching? <laughs> no, it's a club in town. Now that we're part of the Mod Shops group, I've got free membership. Could go there. Very nice. And me and Pam can wave at you through the window. Now, each member is allowed one guest. Oh, I see. And you want to take Pam? Now, don't be soft. I'd take you. If Pam's busy, that is. <laughs> Are you looking for a thick lip? Yours will do. Get off. Hey, Malk. This place Jumpers. How do you know what it's like? Me? Oh, no, no, Terry was telling me about it. He says it's great because there's lots of unattached, uh, lots of nice <laughs> girls, people. 
I'm not sure it's right to let a young, impressionable ornithologist loose in a place like that. I'll be good, promise. Yeah, you know, so. <laughs> but we're still left with the PPP. I know I'm going to wish I'd never asked this, but go ahead. Pamela's partner problem. <laughs> Unless... Yeah. yeah! Oh, you wouldn't, uh... She wouldn't? No. Nah. Nah. You don't mean it, Malcolm. Yeah, why not? Three reasons. One, I don't like her. Two, I don't like her sister. Three, I don't like the pair of them. What about me? You're all right, but you can't dance. <laughs> not me for the sake of our friendship, as a mate. Malcolm, you're just not my type, but thanks for the offer. Terry, be serious. They're OK, really. It could be a good evening. <laughs> you're joking. Oh, come on. Pamela's having a tough time with Fluffy. She's finished with him and she needs to get back into circulation again. Look, Mal, it's nothing personal, but I've got a reputation to keep up. Many of my groupies see me stuck with a scally like Brenda or a front like What? Sister. You big head, right, that's it. Oh, Mal, look, don't misunderstand it. me. Mal's and Mal's, look. It was a joke. I, I was mucking about. So you've come then? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Perhaps it could be fun. <laughs> Brenda, you cannot be serious. But I am, Miss McEnroe. <laughs> oh, come on, why not? Three reasons. One, I don't like him. Two, I don't like discos. And three, I still don't like him. Oh, he's OK. I mean, I've been out with him myself once and he was a good laugh. Mm. And you have to make allowances, considering where he's from. Hemel Hempstead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, you've got nothing to lose, have you? <laughs> you and I both know what my problem is. And an evening having my eardrums perforated by some screwball jock who wouldn't know a good disc from a slip disc isn't going to help. I know that's where you're wrong. Because this is a new kind of club where people are allowed to talk to each other, you know, with words and everything. <laughs> it's fitted with the very latest disco equipment so that if the volume gets too loud, the DJ is automatically electrocuted. <laughs> you lie. No, it's true. I swear I'm Auntie Bessie's grave. We haven't got an Auntie Bessie. It's a figure of speech. Oh, come on, Pamela. You sit in front of that telly every night like one of the living dead. You're becoming a zombie. Disco's just aren't my scene. I feel out of place. Oh, you won't feel out of place. Look, if it makes you feel better, I'll get him to do the Michael Jackson thriller video. Cow. <laughs> no, I don't know. I shouldn't let him get me down, should I? No, you shouldn't. Mind, I couldn't go out even if I wanted to, the condition my skin's in. Of course you could. So that's settled then. Such a mess. Come here, let's have a look. Anyway, it'll be dark. <laughs> A fortnight. <laughs> what do you look like? Hi. What's your? Take your seat. <laughs> hey, not there. You clash with the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Pam's not quite ready yet. She's finishing with a coat of non drip emulsion. <laughs> Been to the sales. Yeah. Been to the Oxfam shop. <laughs> How is Pam? Oh, still a bit depressed. Hey, don't worry. But... We'll snap her out of it. <laughs> Have you seen my yellow bow anywhere? Yeah, he's here. <laughs> what is it? It's Joseph and his amazing technical Adana <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you think I'm going anywhere, I don't think with <laughs> Things I do for a mate. <laughs> what does he look like yet? Oh, it's so nice. He won't have it on inside. Oh, we've got to get there yet. I'll have to wear these. Why? <laughs> I don't want to be seen heading through town with a walking colour chart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be soft. Anyway, there's nothing we can do about it now. We could try and sell him to some Egyptians. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. 
you very well. Well, we'll just dance then. <laughs> Just me socks. What? A joke. Oh, yes, a joke. <laughs> you, uh, come here. Oh, occasionally. I've not seen you here before, though. No, well, I don't much go in for, um, you know, occasionally. Well, I'm not very good at it. Perhaps the slower ones. I bought a friend who needs to get out of herself. Which one's yours? What? Oh, no, no, a sister's. At least it's a sister of my friend, not the one who needs to get out of herself because she came with Terry. Although they don't actually go together, but they did come together because of the, uh, the free membership to the mod shops. And you can bring one other person. As you like it. Pardon? As you like it. As I like what? At school we did As You Like It. I remember Mr Oakden asked you to explain the plot. You sounded just like you did then. Managed to confuse us all. Or even Mr Oakden? He must have all. Haven't lost the knack. Oh, it seems not. Wearings, actually, but we've been over to uh, taken over. Well, I'm in the camps. Seventh floor of St George's building. Wages and Oh, there you go. A great trap from Eurasia. So if you want to ride sometimes, give me a wave. I will. Bye. 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 OK, it's time now to slow it right the way down with Alison Moyer and Lovelace. You all right? Yeah. Are you looking better already? Well, I feel better. I think it did look... Oh, good Lord! Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, it was bound to happen landing yourself with an old fudge like Fluffy. What you really need to do is to try and get back into the young set who really know how to enjoy themselves. Who are you talking to? Myself, it seems. And you? Me? Who was the woolly bag? Oh, it was Susan. Susan what? Susan Roberts, just an old school friend. Yeah, I did look pretty at him. Trouble with her legs, actually. What do you mean? Difficulty standing up. She was draped all over you. <laughs> <laughs> you would demonstrate the fireman's lift. Don't be soft. Bye. Bye. Okay, it's time now to slow it right the way down with Alison Moyer and Lovelace. You're right? Yeah. Are you looking better already? Well, I feel better. I think it's just a good Oh, good Lord! Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, it was bound to happen landing yourself with an old fudge like Fluffy. What you really need to do is to try and get back into the young set who really know how to enjoy themselves. Who are you talking to? Myself, it seems. <laughs> and you? Me? Who was the woolly bag? Oh, uh, Susan. Susan what? Susan Roberts, just an old school friend. Yeah, I did look pretty at him. Trouble with her legs, actually. What do you mean? Difficulty standing up. She was draped all over you. <laughs> <laughs> you would demonstrate the fireman's lift. Don't be soft. We haven't seen each other for ages. In fact, I didn't even recognise her until she leaned forward and I saw her face better. <laughs> so she remembers me in the English class explaining as you like it. Oh, well, I like it vodka and not too much lime. Oh, right. Same again for Pam? I should think so. Stop meeting like this. The log has run out. Aren't you going to chase it? <laughs> no. We 
moving on. This place is a bit noisy. David knows somewhere a little more sophisticated, you know. Yeah, it's not too far from here. So you'll be OK, then? Oh, fantastic. I can't think of a better way of spending an evening than being stuck here on my own, being ignored by everybody. I'm like a condom machine at a Cliff Richard concert. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking to someone. So we'll be off, then. Oh, Pam, don't worry if you're not back home in time. I'll take your kids to school. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I uh, I might see you around then. What? Mod shops. Oh yes, mine. We don't actually go near the shops themselves. Oh no, no, of course not. No. Well, I must get back. Only uh, Brenda doesn't like me to go off on my own in case I get lost. Well, you can do if she doesn't. Uh, well, oh, ah, hi, Brenda. Uh, this is Susan. Susan Roberts. Is it? Susan, this is. Uh... Hello, Brenda. So what's been keeping you besides it? Well, I was getting served and a lager ran out, so... Uh... So what's that? Well, this. Oh, this is lager. No, it, it ran in again. I mean... We caught it. Well, somebody will in a minute. No, you see, I asked him for one and it was all frothy. I've been sitting there like a preserved moose for the past 20 minutes. I've only been here for. Nobody asked you. I think I'd better go, Mark. No worries, sweetheart. I have a boyfriend of my own. Is that so, sweetheart? And have you had many boyfriends? Besides your own, that is. <laughs> out for you lot. So much for being caring and compassionate. Maggie's dead right. You get no thanks for it. <laughs> Here's me organising a night out for three workers who might be losing their jobs. Hold on, hold on. It wasn't like that at all. Don't you interrupt me when I'm ranting. <laughs> and what happens? I'm left sitting on my own while the rest of you are copping off with the dregs of Merseyside. Look, Terry just met some old friends and Pamela, well, the bloke she was with seemed very nice. Oh, sugar daddy David. He's just another cluffy without the lock on his wallet. No, I think you're forgetting the purpose of the evening was to get Pamela back into circulation again. On that score, it was a great success. Oh, was it? And what about your score? What? With Susan Rabbit. <laughs> Susan Roberts. And I've told you, she's just an old school friend. Actually, she works for our firm, you know. And what's she doing in a gent's outfitters? <laughs> no, let me guess. She works for Mod Shops. They've taken us over. I'll bet. And she happens to be a very nice girl. Like hell. I bet that big bunny's been round more fellas than your tape measure. <laughs> mm, do you really think so? So right. Oh, interesting. She said I could call and see her if I ever wanted to rise. <laughs> well, why don't you do just that? Perhaps I will. Listen, Stoneway, I don't give a monkey's what you do. This has been the most disastrous evening since... since, since the last time I went out with you. And stop grinning. No, don't. You know, use this one. That'll go all over the place. Don't make me laugh. 